You know, an Orem couple is safe this morning thanks to the Utah County Search and Rescue Team. Sergeant Spencer Cannon says they went for a scenic drive with their two-year-old daughter on Nebo Road and down Santa Quin Canyon. He says they were dressed well but not well prepared. Cannon says they didn't know that Santa Quin Canyon access was closed and tried to leave when they got stuck in about two inches of snow. Doesn't take much. The team found them around 11 p.m. and a volunteer drove them back home. Three 19 year old hikers rescued from Mount Olympus are now in the hospital. Here's some video of the rescue Saturday night. The Utah DPS Aero Bureau assisted Salt Lake County search and rescue on the call. Unified police shared a detailed timeline of the incident. We got a call from uh, one of the teenagers saying that they had they were close to the top of Mount Olympus, but they couldn't go any further and they couldn't go back. So they're cliffed out. Uh, so we called out search and rescue and two teams uh, were attempting to get up there. It was pretty dangerous because the weather uh, as the hours went by was getting, you know, more snow, more wet, colder. After waiting for a break in the weather, DPS was able to get the helicopter up and lift them out. They were taken to St. Mark's Hospital to be treated for hypothermia. At last checked, they were considered stable. Such a busy start to the season for search and rescue crews. Officials are urging those who plan to go adventuring to be prepared for more wet weather in our forecast. We have Scott McCain live this morning for us with some ways to plan ahead. Good morning, Scott. How you doing? Yeah. Good morning, April. Yeah, life comes at you fast. Uh, Mother Nature does not mess around. Uh, and, in, uh, you know, whether you're a hunter over this past weekend or still hoping to catch some of the last fall colors, maybe trying to find a sledding hill, uh, you need to be prepared because, as we just heard in a couple of those stories, uh, when this weather system moves in, boy, it's pretty unforgiving. And, you know, folks with the National Weather Service, the forecasters there, they compile this information nonstop. They put it out there. And officials say you, you need to pay attention uh, to what's being put out there uh, so you know what to expect if you uh, wind up heading out, in particular if you're heading up into one of the canyons. And, you know, from there, you need to also prepare accordingly. Make sure you've got proper clothing, extra food in case you do get stuck, um, you know, your snow, snow tires on your car if you need them. You know, Craig Gordon from the Utah Avalanche Center also says right now, even though it was a fairly fast-moving storm, not a lot of precipitation, really none in the valley, there's still enough uh, snow up here in the mountains to create very sensitive drifts that could very easily trigger an avalanche. Avoiding the accident is paramount. But you've also got to be prepared for your own self-rescue. That means wearing and knowing how to use an avalanche transceiver, a shovel, and a probe. But remember, the best avalanche, it's the one that we don't trigger at all. Words to the wise from Craig Gordon. And uh, here's a photo of the season's first human-triggered avalanche a few miles up the canyon from where we are right now in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Now, also, officials with the Trails Foundation of Northern Utah, they recommend that you never go out alone. Another good piece of advice, you let folks know where you're going and when you're expected to return in the event of uh, something uh, bad happening. So we'll continue to follow this one. Obviously, it's uh, the beginning of uh, the winter weather type season. So uh, yeah, just uh, beware and be careful. For now, we're live at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.